leaders are emerging in the hotly contested race to take over the House seat. Congressman Darrell Issa is vacating after nearly 20 years. This is all according to our exclusive 10 News Union Tribune poll. And our 10 News reporter John Horn is here. And John, there's still a lot that can change. Yeah, there's still four months about before the actual primary in June. But our latest poll shows Democrat Doug Applegate and Republican Assemblyman Rocky Chavez headed for a runoff in November. But many of the trailing candidates are flush with cash and they're not going to be afraid to spend it. Democrat Doug Applegate nearly beat Congressman Darrell Issa in the 2016 election. And Republican State Assemblyman Rocky Chavez represents hundreds of thousands of North County residents in Sacramento. Voters know both of them, and that's partly why they're the early leaders in our 10 News Union Tribune scientific poll of who will ultimately earn Darrell Issa's longtime House seat. It's a measure of who voters know at this point. For the other candidates, it means that they have got to get their name out there and get to know the voters, and more importantly, have the voters get to know them. Issa announced last month he would not defend the seat he held for nearly 20 years. Five Republicans then declared, joining an already charged up group of Democrats. Available campaign finance filings show three of those new Democrats have more than $1 million to spend on getting their name out. That's why political analyst John Dadian says they shouldn't be concerned about polling in the single digits. So once they start getting their message out, that's when you're going to see the numbers change. The 49th district encompasses parts of coastal North County and Southern Orange County. Democrats have been fiercely trying to turn it blue since ISA narrowly won in 2016. And while our poll showed just 44% approve of ISA's performance, a fresh Republican face who isn't linked to President Trump may fare better in a push to keep the seat red. This is an election where you may be voting on a local person, but really what you're voting for or against is what's happening at the executive. Now, our scientific poll included 510 likely voters who live in the 49th district. It also found that the border wall was the most important issue to Republicans, while Democrats and independents identified the president's performance as most important to them. Mm. Interesting. So the field, obviously, as you said, getting very crowded. Do you see polls like this influencing people's decision to drop out before March? No, and not yet. And that's because these results can be expected. Applegate and Chavez are widely known among voters in the district, so it's only natural for them to do well on early polls. These next few months are where the candidates are going to be spending big on introducing themselves to the electorate. We saw Sarah Jacobs do that with an ad after the State of the Union. Now, as these candidates become more familiar, they may tick up in those polls and ultimately make it to that November run. By far one of the most interesting races we have coming up in June nationwide. Too. People yeah. watching all over the country for yeah. this seat. All right. And thank you, John. John's all over. <laughs>